Hey, it's Steve with uh, Sacktown Benelli here working on the Benelli TNT 135. We're working on the project for the uh, gear indicator light uh, ordered from AliExpress. Or, and as you can see, I've already started some work on this. Uh, initially, through preliminary research, I thought everything was going to happen under the seat and under the tank and spent quite a bit of time disassembling the fairings, removing the seat and looking around and going back in and checking the wiring guide on the uh, computer and wasn't finding things corresponding and I realized eventually much later in the day that it goes through the headlight assembly and not under the tank or under the seat. So that was a big breakthrough moment. Here you can see I've removed two hex allens that go in here uh, through the top on here. And late last night, I got it wired up into the harness. Um, if you buy from AliExpress, you're going to get the two clips for the speed harness. And these are plugged together. You just unplug them and plug the male and the female into the correct ones for the AliExpress gear indicator light. It also comes with the red and green wire that you have to tap into. Red obviously is going to go to power uh, and up into the instrument gauge cluster wiring harness. The red is going to tap into the red and white wire. and I, You can see that tap right here. Maybe I can get a better light on it. Hold that thought for a second. There we go. So I've tapped the red wire into the red and white. It looks mostly white from this angle and my poor eyesight from this distance, but I assure you I looked closer last night. And it's got red fringes on the side, so this is the red and white power, plus I confirmed it with the wiring diagram. The green one... I'm not sure about as of yet. I did. All right, so I thought about it some more, um, and neither the uh, tachometer line nor the neutral gear position sensor line seemed to have worked, and I let the bike warm up trying to see if something was wrong with the setup instructions. Um, and neither one of those really worked. I went back and took a look at the instruction paperwork from uh, Ally Express that comes with the unit. Uh, and again, it's from Chinese manufacturers, um, but it's a technical writing, you know, instructions and stuff like that. But it's not in their native language. It's in English, second language skill set um, going on for them. And so it's kind of difficult to figure out exactly what they mean by some things. Uh, the writing's not exactly on point. But some of the things that they mention in there are the crank shaft sensor, uh, position sensor, and to tie into that, and I believe that's going to be my green line, and they reference under the tank. Uh, and so I looked up in the Benelli, um, the, the bigger manual that I have a copy of PDF uh, that's been circulating online, uh, and did a find feature on that using control F and typed in crankshaft position sensor. And it turns out, I believe, they're not talking about the gear shift line, but this particular one here, it runs into this. And inside, um, there's a big, nice picture on it, and I think it's page 438, 439 or so of the PDF um that shows it with the cap off and there's uh the magnets that roll around I, um uh maybe it's a magneto uh but i believe they're talking about these particular wires and some of these go um to the actual sensor so i think i've got a tie in here which means routing the green wire from up in here through and down and tap into either the blue or the white based on the diagram and I'll kind of check back and forth um, blue and white or they said a 
green and white possibly so I got to get a little better look at what these colors are in here um, and try my luck tying into those so that's what we're gonna do all right so this bad boy I got to tie into and run a further line and we're gonna try to tie it into the crank shaft position sensor Gonna use some wire. I'm just gonna go green and green. I think they might be slightly different gauges, but is what it is. I typically try to stay away from electrical work as I'm a teacher, public educator by trade. I teach high school uh, and it's not any of the trades. So I usually leave electrical to those that are more knowledgeable than myself. But every once in a while I get a project that I like and try to get after and complete and I do have the personality trait of being tenacious so I try to stick with stuff and that being said sometimes I get in over my head a little bit which is why I try to stay clear of wiring but in this case, I'm just going for it. Go big or go home, right? Trying to get these just to grip a little bit by a little twist. Probably don't have enough exposed, but... back down over it get that heat solder right in the middle to make a more permanent connection and pardon me while I plug in my heat gun and get that over here to shoot it So the solder melting in that connection. So I believe we made a good one. Just letting this cool and solidify. And then I'm gonna stretch out enough cable and a little bit more, or less a wire, not a cable. And a little bit more to get me down there. Uh, give me plenty of excess just in case I need to the extra um, and then I'll figure out how to route it
All right, it's been a challenging two-day battle. The green never was supposed to go up into either of those uh, wire connections, either the uh, tachometer, nor does it go to the uh, uh, neutral gear sh shift sensor. Just gonna tap into the power up here. The green, as you can see, I connected hot solder and I just ran it down the wiring harness. You can see the ties I'll still have to cut off. And down the line, and this is where the crankshaft sensor is and I cut the sheathing away uh, on the wiring diagram it says white three white wires and a couple of different colors for the actual probe I found three black so I figure those were for the magneto I think it is called and so it was either a case of the blue or the green and I first tried blue being a dummy but thinking that was the one and it wasn't so I've got that uh, when I tapped into it it exposed some of the sheathing so I put electrical tape around it uh, the green wire goes to the actual green here for that particular pickup coil as the instructions refer to it or the what the heck was the name of it again the crankshaft sensor crankshaft position sensor I believe is what they're referring to it as this thing is junk I really didn't like using it it comes in the kit I had some from a truck project that I did a while ago of these that I like a whole lot better and the way these work I kind of set this up here for a second There's kind of the basic instructions. Your green cap or gray you're going to use, and there's a needle, fine point on that. You're going to spike the wire that you want to tap into. This one is the wire you want to add. You feed it through here after stripping it. And it's going to connect in there, and these things work like a charm. So, let me show you, put the finishing touches on this. I've tapped in here, as you can see, with one of those spike taps. I'm not sure what the official name is for them, but that's what I'm calling it. Here. I'll take this guy. Twist him up a little bit. There we go. And he's going to get threaded. Behind the frame is a pain in the butt, but we'll get it done. Tightened that down. Little tug. Sitting look pretty. Proof will be in the pudding, as they say. So, if we come back up here, and the problem I was having earlier was the gear indicator light 
was always staying L standing for learning mode. Uh, this time around, I tested it just a second ago and undid it for the video, but this time around, it's going to work. And you'll see that it will shift into one telling me that I should shift to first gear. All right, still got power. It's in learning mode. Start this engine. There you go. Now it wants to learn first gear. So the next step's gonna be button this up and go teach it.